Hey guys! This tutorial will show you how to configure your iPhone as an iBeacon transmitter. Now, any iPhone 4S or later that runs on iOS 7 can be configured to act as an iBeacon transmitter. Please note that this tutorial will actually show you how to do this, but you'll need to be a part of Apple's developer program and have Xcode installed on your computer. So, let's begin! The first step is to go to developer.apple.com, click on Member Center on the top right, and then click on iOS under Dev Centers. Now, if you haven't downloaded Xcode, this would be a great time to do it because you'll need it later, but if you already have it, click on iOS 7 Developer Library. Now, when you get to this page, type in Air Locate in the search bar. Once you've found it, click on the link, head over to download sample code and click that button, which will then download onto your computer. Unzip the file, and then open the airlocate.xcode project, which will then launch Xcode. Navigate to the sidebar on the left and click on the airlocate drop-down menu. Click on the arrow next to the airlocate folder and click on apldefaults.m. This will open up the code that contains the UUIDs which your iPhone will broadcast. And these UUIDs are the default ones from Apple, but can be changed to a UUID of your choice. Use Passkit's Pass Designer to generate UUIDs and test out iBeacons with password passes. Go to create.passkit.com and click on the lock screen tab. Under Beacon Details, simply type in a beacon name next to the name field and a UUID will automatically be generated for you. If you already have a UUID, simply copy and paste that UUID into the same field. Type in a message to display when a user's device is near a beacon, and you are able to install up to 10 beacon locations per pass. Once the pass is saved, add it to your device and save it to Passbook. Make sure that Bluetooth is enabled on your device so that you'll be able to receive lock screen messages. Now, note that if you have that pass installed on your iPhone, and have also configured your iPhone as a beacon, you won't be able to test out the lock screen messages. So please make sure that you're installing this pass on a device that's different from the iBeacon transmitter device. You can replace the default UUIDs generated in Xcode with the ones you previously generated in the pass designer. Simply copy and paste the UUIDs and replace it. This will then allow your phone to broadcast these UUIDs. Plug your iPhone into your computer. Go to the header to select the active scheme and select your iPhone from the list of devices. At this point, ensure that your iPhone is plugged in and unlocked. Go to the left and press the play button, which will run Air Locate and essentially build this application into your iPhone. When it's complete, you'll see Build Succeeded pop up on your computer screen. Open the Air Locate app from your iPhone and click on Monitoring. You'll see that the UUID there matches with the one in Xcode. Click to enable it and your phone will begin broadcasting that UUID. You can even switch your UUIDs at any time you want, but make sure that Bluetooth is on and that you're enabling the broadcast. And that's how you configure your iPhone to be an iBeacon transmitter. If you have any questions or comments, let us know down below or on our forum at forum.paskit.com. We hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching.